Next, we have the mental conceptualization fears of the Ajna. Pretending to be certain leads you to mental anxiety, leads you to being mentally defensive. And when you're undefined in the Ajna center, for yourself, you can never be certain because it's so fluid, so flexible. It's like a screen we've talked about where there's all this different energies that are going through and there's no consistency in it mental decisions, there will never be any consistency. If you make a mental decision, you will always regret it because you can always, it operates over all time as far as the frequency is concerned, not the now, like the splenic, not the wave, like the emotionals, all time. So you go over and over and over again about that past experience or that future imagined what you think it will turn out like, or you try to figure out why constantly. So making a decision from the conceptualization, weighing the pros and cons, okay, one plus one equals two, so I'm going to get this if I do that, you know, this is what uh, I imagine is going to get the best out of me and them, so it's going to be a win-win, great, we're going to go this way because I think so, I believe so, I know so, saying from the mind. So the mental anxiety through pretending to be certain about what is coming out your mouth is not a place to make a decision. We always go back to what is the authority? What is the strategy that's gonna get us in touch with the authority? Okay, next place we go to from the Ashna, we go up to the head where we have inspiration. Mentally looking for interesting things, shiny object syndrome. What tends to happen because of the mental pressure and because we are like a um, receptive place up here, what is it? Um, it's the pineal gland, which is, you know, that light sensing organ that is actually looking inward. It's facing upward, but it's actually connected to all that is. This is where we take in because you can see, especially when you're undefined here, lots of ability to amplify mental pressure. So when you think about things that don't matter to you, a signpost of conditioning, you lose focus. So every time, let's say you're talking to somebody, you're having a really important conversation with a friend. Can you remember, I do a lot in the past, remember this, especially with um, my conversations with people, my mind was always strategizing what to say next, trying to hold the thread of their conversation, trying to focus on one specific thing so that I could convinced them I was certainly following what they were saying. And because my mind is not designed to be strategic and was not definitely not certain, my go-to was just nodding and agreeing and making sounds that looked like I was following the conversation. But my mind inside was trying to figure out what to say next that would look intelligent, undefined Ashna. So the losing focus signposts that it's not aligned for you to go down that path. Temporary stopgap, you could make lists that could help get that pressure out of you. Let's say you're up late at night. I had some insomnia last couple nights. You're up late at night, can't get to sleep because your mind is cycling. <laughs> That's the channel that we have in the transits right now. Mind is cycling and you can't shut it up. Write it down. Get it out of your head onto the paper. That's very, very helpful to temporary stopgap. Get that out of the head and onto paper. Oh, I've thought about it. Okay, I've written it down. I can think about it later. Rather than going into the mental constant pressure, pressure, pressure. You know, Uranus is in the gate of migraines right now. Are you getting migraines? Because you're trying to figure out why. That's that channel. <laughs> so letting go of that by just writing it down and getting, okay, coming back to it. Strategy and authority. I'm emotional. I'll just wait. I'll sleep on that. I don't have to make a decision right now. It took me the longest time to stop making decisions because of the pressure. Wanting to get rid of the pressure, whether you're defined or undefined in the mind, your mind feels like or your, thinks like, if I just do something about this, then it'll go away. But it's a pressure center. It just fills back up again. Like when you flush a toilet, Ra would call the brain, um, <laughs> what we would call thoughts, the gas of the brain. <laughs> and, and if you flush a toilet, you know, the, 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 the bowl just rises back up again. When you get rid of the, you make a decision, it just goes right back up. Okay, now we have this other thing we have to think about. So just write it down and go back to, who am I for myself, generator? Who am I for others, uh, projector? Who's inviting me, recognizing me, that kind of thing, rather than trying to figure it out all inside the head, being able to take a deep breath, let go of the thought. 